Duchess Sophie and Prince Edward have revealed their conjugal coat of arms at the top of a letter that was shared on Tuesday this week, which was addressed to Leaf Education. The Duchess, who is honorary president of the organization that works to promote education around sustainable farming, shared their impact report for 2023 on X, formerly Twitter. The coat of arms was stamped at the top of the letter with Sophie's signature on the bottom, marking a personal touch from the Edinburgh family. When royal couples are married, they are issued a joint coat of arms to commemorate their union, which is made up of symbols to represent both sides of the family. On the left is Edward's side, made up of elements from his personal coat of arms that he received aged 19, many years before he married Sophie in 1999. On the right-hand side is the Rhys Jones coat of arms, created for Sophie's father at the time of her marriage to Edward, which also pays tribute to their Welsh heritage with a backward-looking lion on a red and blue background. The website also explains, the lion is said to refer to Sophie's ancestor, the Welsh warrior Elliston Glodrud, Prince of Ferrig. The supporter is almost a Welsh dragon. The wyvern, though, again brings a lot of blue to UK royal heraldry. The words Bagshot Park are also clearly emblazoned on the shield, the family home in Surrey where they live with their two children Lady Louise and James, Earl of Wessex. Louise, 20, is currently in her second year studying English at St Andrews University, while 16-year-old James will be working towards his GCSEs. Bagshot Park is thought to be worth around £30 million, although it is leased by Edward from the Crown Estate and has been since their wedding. The property has 120 rooms and there are several lodges dotted around the estate, including Sunningdale, which is home to a famous golf club. Prince Edward and Duchess Sophie are set to play an even more essential role in the firm, with King Charles and Princess Kate both taking time off due to their health issues. One royal expert commented that when Kate becomes queen her good friend Sophie will be even more essential to her, and could act as a princess and type figure to her. The Princess Royal has acted as a confidant and second-in-command to King Charles for many years and is often hailed as the hardest-working royal.